Let's go, baby. Yo, Kim, welcome in, bro. Woo! No, no, it's not special, lads. It's not special. Cantona and the run. Oh, Eric! Oh, Eric Cantona! Beast, man, beast! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are looking at Ua Cantona. We packed him. Huge shout out to OC as well for the donation on our live stream. You can check out the full live stream. But we're taking a look at his card, our ultimate build for him, I think, and a couple of little tips and tricks, including additional skills that you need to give to him for him to be a beast. Now, he's a very unique card. But do I rate him? Do I think he's a must spin? Let's find out. All right, let's, so let's get straight into it, right? Cantona is not a run and gun Romario, Messi, Mbappe-esque, right? As you see there, he's not too slow either, but we're going to break down this card. This is what Cantona is all about in this clip. Nice feet for a big man. One of the best, most unique big men in the game, right? So if you're used to playing with the likes of Drogba or Adriano or any of those, Lewandowski, Harry Kane, Cantona is a step above on those but where the game is at at the moment it's very hard to make Cantona meta right now these clips that you're seeing here are from my live stream this is kind of what I was employing Cantona to do right he's kind of like a nimble collar right so there is only one king at my club but Cantona is fast becoming a player that I really love to play now watch as we break down this clip here with that deep line uh, forward position right or play play style the reason for the attack and awareness on this card is to make very direct runs, but also be intelligent enough to not be offside. Cantona, definitely from the stream yesterday, six or seven games that we played, very intelligent with the ball. So if you're struggling to create opportunities up front, to hold the ball up, to be able to play to both you know, height and feet, Cantona is definitely a dream option for that. The problem is, right, he does have a couple of weaknesses. Now, as you see there, that's his second goal of the game. This guy taps out, and we had a bit of that yesterday on the events as well. But this is what I'm talking about. You see the little stop start there from Cantona? That is because of his play style, because he's a deep line, okay? Now, he does take a lot of trainer points. We're going to give you an example of the card that we used. So I first used this card here. Um, he takes 34 levels to go up. It's a lot of XP. It's a lot of trainers. It's very easy to kind of clear that now. I have a load of videos on that. This was the first build that we tried, right? So we left him with 15 progression points because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to max out his acceleration, his balance, and his attack and awareness, or whether I just wanted to kind of chill a little bit with him and keep him more balanced for kind of having a lot of things that he could do well, right? So I w again, if you play to his strengths, Cantona can be a demon. I've seen people score three goals a game with him over multiple games and him just absolutely dominate. Don't worry about this player build yet. It, the proper player build that I have will be at the end of the video, right? It all comes down to positioning that you get up, right? I found, found that Cantona, um, when he didn't have 90 finishing, I found that his shots were a little bit wayward. Now, maybe it was just me, but I found that after even playing against the AI, that this was kind of his best thing on the pitch to do, right? As we break this clip down here and we see multiple clips, his runs are brilliant. His runs up through the lines are fantastic and to have a player with this you know with these feet at this height it's a very unique card right collar is a one trick pony in terms of he's a brilliant player in the air but he doesn't really have that you know on the ground threat so a lot of t a lot of the time even though you can't stop collar from his height Cantona is kind of like a player that kind of goes under the radar a little bit because he's so good in the air, even though his stats don't tell the full picture. He was just knocking loads of shots down for me. And you'll see time and time again here that this was a card that I found kind of on the end of a lot of different chances, right? And you'll see with the breakdown of this clip here, you'll see the speed, the holding of the line, the acceleration, all of that good stuff. Um, so this card maxed out at around 101, 102 overall. We'll get to the build in a second. But, I mean, listen, it just depends the play style that you want to do. It's hard to recommend a player that's not the meta, because when most people try him, it comes down to play style, it comes down to tactics formation, and it comes down to how good you are at the game. This is the build that we ultimately went for, that we tried in the live stream, and we kind of settled on. I'm not 100% settled on this build yet, 
but you've gone for 11 shooting, 1 into passing, 4 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, 7 into lower body, and 5 into aerial strength. I'm still a little torn, right, on whether I want to increase the dexterity to about 15 and just do away with the passing, do away with one lower body, and do away with aerial strength, right? I'm still a little torn on that. So, yeah, um, that is it for me, lads. I will be back. It's just a short and sweet video. As I said, I had about a four or five hour stream. We used a lot of Cantona builds and a lot of uh, clips were there. So let me know what you guys think, right? As of right now, it's hard to recommend a player that's not meta. But if you're looking for a bit of fun, this is one of the most unique cards in the game that can play in the air, uh, hold up play, brilliant runs. And of course, he's actually beautifully, beautifully slick on the pitch as well. Brilliant feed for a big man. Um, and I definitely think he can bang in a lot of goals here once you get a hang of his power and his kicking power because he is kind of different, a different type of player. So now also you're probably going to ask me what about player skills because I do think that player skills can really drive this card into the next level, especially that you are missing a couple as a center forward and I think this Cantona card can be beastly, not meta meta, but it can be definitely a lot better uh, if you add the right skills, right? So a big part of this, as you see, I have only given aerial superiority yet, but a big part of this is how you're going to play him, right? Are you going to play him as your aerial threat and all round target man, all round kind of on the feet or on the ground with the feet and in the air? Or are you going to play him as kind of like a more SS type player uh, with passing and stuff, right? So these are the skills that I would recommend. And this is the build that I would recommend to pair these skills with, right? Fighting Spirit is a very interesting one. He has a very unique aggression stat that is going to be good if you compare it with Fighting Spirit. Or else, if you want to keep him as your super sub, you can change that to super sub. But the rest of the stats, first time shot, long range curler, I think are in definitely, definitely a must, right? So let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you later.